Let's get right to the fishing. Wow. Definitely a keeper fluke. Oh my goodness. So far, this is what I'm using tonight. Uh, this is uh, three quarter rounds, five eighths of an ounce. And I am going to go back over to the three quarter rounds. The current's ripping a little bit, and I think we'll get a little better shot. With that little extra weight. And with the white. Yellow is working. Or maybe I'll go with the yellow. Out of my pocket. I got on a direct tie now. Lost my buck tail. And then again, that is a smiling Billy or a hot lips buck tail. 5 0 hook. Um, Five eighths of an ounce felt trailer. I'm going between yellow and white, but you can use any color. I think uh, I like the you know I got a whole bunch of colors, so, but yellow and white is what I'm using tonight. Uh, on and off with the clip, and I just put the clip on just to work something different. And the five eighth ounce, I like. You know, it gives you a little more chuckability than a half ounce and then you go up to three quarters of an ounce and then you can go up to one ounce or you can go under but you need a, I like to carry maybe two sizes three at most depending on where I go and uh, this is working great for these conditions and that's five eighths you can get half is just fine I just like that five eighths just a little more went and keep in mind the type of trailer you use will influence how your bucktail rides in the water. So keep that in mind. Felt has a very minimal impact on how that bucktail is going to ride the bottom. You use a grub or something, or a pork rind, add some weight, and it's going to change the action. It's going to change how your lure responds, more so than the action. So far tonight, I'm throwing uh, bucktails out uh, and picking up some flu. I'm going to put on a clip and uh, just I might start changing out soon. Those flukes, they come in and out. You're going to be in some fast fishing and it's going to slow down. Uh, but it's per clip. Mm, I like them. I love them. Uh, obviously, you saw I used a uh, a bad one before and uh, the fish let himself go took our bucktail and probably shake it out but uh you can get a little more action if you're going to be fishing bucktails only find your weight and then then direct tie that's probably the best thing to do but uh we'll get him i think with the clip um, wow that's a big flu That's a big fluke. That's could be the biggest one this year. Wow. That's a beautiful fish. Oh no. 
that I'll be able to And I'll adjust my trailer as I go. I'm going to make it more tapered. And you can do that just by clipping it. Makes it more wiggly. Yeah. So tonight I am just night bucktailing for a fluke or a summer or full flounder. Um, and that's what's out there, and that's what we're fishing for. I'm bucktailing for fluke, uh, summer flounder, at night. That's my new handle. That's not a fluke. Or is it? That is a fluke. Oh, hit him on, hit him on the side. That's my buddy over there. See how big he is. He's, he's close to keeper size, that's for sure. Let's say he's 19. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, I'd say he's eight. That's eight inches, so 16. I don't know if you can see him, but peanut bunker are the bait of the evening. There's all kinds of bait around. There's mullets, peanut bunker, spearing, and anchovy. Who knows what else, but that's what's here now. So I am going back to the 5 8 ounce. I like the way that plays better. These bucktails, you kind of experiment, you know, with the conditions where you're at and see how they play. And it only is a couple sizes. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's see, my hook is sharp, and it is. That feels like a nicer fish. Oh, wow, it is. That is a keeper. Wow. That's a nice fish. Let's see if we can get him to cooperate. Get a clear shot. That is definitely a keeper. Spitting out those peanut bunker. That's a nice fish. Way. I love the way their mouths look when they get big. Oh, look at that. 